Hello everybody, Sipati here and welcome to the Gemophiles Microbiology in a Flash. In today's video, we will quickly look at the structural differences between flagella and cilia. Flagella are found in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Cilia are found only in eukaryotes. These structures are cellular appendages used to capture nutrient sources and to help cells move in different directions. So, what is the difference between cilia and flagella? The most obvious difference is in their lengths. Flagella are typically slender with an average length of 20 micrometers and cilia are short with lengths between 1 and 10 micrometers. You would usually find few flagella on cells while cilia tend to be found all around the cell surface. Cilia beat in a coordinated fashion to propel cells forward while flagella move independently in a wave-like motion. Cilia is composed of nine microtubule doublets forming a ring which is known as the exonym. The protein diene forms bridges to join the microtubule doublets to each other. In the center of this ring are two microtubule singlets. This arrangement is enclosed in a membrane. Movement is generated by the activation of diene by ATP. Diene slides over adjacent microtubule doublets forming a bending-like motion. Flagella are divided into bacterial flagella, archaeal flagella, and eukaryotic flagella. Bacterial flagella are made of helical filaments composed of flagellin proteins. These have a rotary motor that can be likened to a propeller, therefore beating in a wave-like motion. Eukaryotic flagella are similar to cilia as they are composed of microtubules that have a membrane and move in a bending fashion. And that is the difference between cilia and flagella. That's it for today. For more flash videos like this one, subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you next time on The Gemophile.